Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Parks Racing, better known as Philadelphia Park, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, on Friday afternoon, November the 4th, and this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 this afternoon, folks. 2 of 4 p.m. Eastern post time, mild test on the dirt track, 3 year olds and up racing for allowance, purse of some $47,000. Contenders number one, Lucky Lewis. Number seven, Go Joe Go. Number two, Crown the Chief. And number four, El Legato. Number one, Lucky Lewis has hit the board in four of his last five starts, winning twice, including a power run win in his second race back. Jockey Josiah Hampshire has been in his irons on four previous occasions, hitting the board in each of those racing opportunities, winning twice en route to a positive. 435% return on investment in the process is back today for his fifth ride. Number seven, Go Joe Go, a 12 to 1 bomb, has hit the board in four of his last five overall, with two of those ported efforts, including a place finish in his last start, also qualifying as power runs. Race five summary number one, Lucky Lewis, tops the contenders list, which also includes number seven, Go Joe Go. Number two, Crown the Chief, and number four, El Legato, 1724 in the fifth from Parks Racing. Bonus long shots. I'll stay right here in Philly. Race six, number two, Miss Dartmouth, 8 to 1 in the morning line. Takes a slight class drop. Is the speed leader in this field, racing at her about six and a half furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last four, including a power run win in her third race back. Hawthorne, race four, number nine, Flaming Glory, a 20 to 1 bomb. Overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at her about today's distance of five furlongs on the turf. So from Parks Racing, Philly Park, on a Friday, opening day of the Breeders' Cup weekend, Rick Needham, for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.